Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today you join me in our i3s which is actually my wife's car. We use it a lot at weekends to go into central London and fans of the channel know that we have been working on a suspension upgrade for this. So the reason for the suspension upgrade on this car wasn't initially to improve the handling of it. It handles pretty well for an electric car, it's quite fun to drive. It's because on roads like this that are quite undulating, the car used to move around a lot, but well, it is moving around a lot on the standard suspension, we've just swapped it back. And my daughter is very much used to the ride in the F80 M3 or more importantly the F90 M5 which is ultra smooth. So I thought let's see if we can work with Bill Stein and develop something to solve that problem and at the same time maybe we can improve the handling also. So what we've done is we've developed a set of shock absorbers which can be used with the standard springs in the i3 or the i3s but on top of that we've also designed a set of springs that can be used with the dampers so you can also improve the aesthetics by lowering the car and improve the handling. So let's get the car back into the workshop put the suspension on and I'll join you later for my driving impression. Before we fit the suspension kit to the car, let's take a closer look. We have the Evolve X Bilstein developed dampers, which can be used on stock springs also. So if you just want to improve the ride quality and the handling, you can use these with the stock springs. And then we've got the springs which we've designed, which will lower an i3S by 15 mil and a normal i3 by 25 mil. Now these springs can also be used with stock dampers. So we do have customers that run the springs on their own and we have customers that run the dampers on their own. And then we have customers who want the best of both and fit both of these in conjunction. So with just the dampers, the car is much more comfortable. The ride is not choppy at all and with the addition of the springs on the dampers you just get that enhanced handling. This is a brand new set we're actually going to refit our development set so the dampers are black and the springs are red but they have been on the car for a couple of thousand miles but they are exactly the same specifications as these. These are now in stock so if customers want to buy them they can either be mail ordered anywhere in the world or you can come into our shop and have them fitted. The car is completely factory apart from the wheels but they are made to exact OEM specs and we run the OEM tyre so they do not affect the ride and handling at all. Let's get the suspension kit on and you can join me back in the car when I can explain the driving differences. The 
suspension fitted, let's go and see what it's like. I can tell immediately the dampers have much more control over the undulations. The car will go over and they'll settle almost immediately, whereas before it would go over an undulation and then move up and down and sometimes left to right. So that's a huge improvement. And although we have fitted the springs, I have driven the car for quite a while with just the dampers on, and that is what you want if you're for maximum comfort and still have some handling benefits. We have fit the springs to this, which lowers the car and stiffens the suspension slightly. So you do get a more firm ride, um, still comfortable, mind you, but over those bumps, you'll feel the bump, but it still won't move. So overall, it's a really good upgrade in terms of compliancy and handling. Now, these cars were dubbed as a hot hatch of the EV world and with this suspension it just makes the car more exciting to drive. It handles really flat around the corners, inspires quite a lot of confidence but what I'm finding now is I'm finding the limitation of the narrow tyres. So this is running the stock tyres albeit we have changed the wheels and they do run out of uh, grip when you push on but then the car is not designed for that. If I wanted to improve the handling even further I'd investigate trying to put some wider tires on it. So I've had this car for two years now we've put 5,000 miles on it. It is essentially my wife's car but I use it a lot on the weekends so I don't have to get one of the M cars out for just doing short journeys but it transports four of us into London which is around 30 miles away and the kids don't complain about the ride anymore and they've got plenty of leg room in the back although the car seems like it's quite small they've used the space inside really well but you can see what I mean on the corners it's actually handles the corners really well for what it is and there you can just feel the tires reaching their limits but it's very controllable very compliant and I think as an upgrade even the dampers on their own they're really good um, if you want that improved aesthetic with a lower ride and the increased handling then you can go for both of them both these products are linked in the description below and they are in stock so we work with Bill Stein for around six months to get these to the market and overall I'm really happy with the product and I hope that other i3 owners will be buying these and improving their rides Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.